Hi, this video is going to be about genetics and statistics and today I want to explain how to use factorial method in order to solve uh, statistical problems in genetics. So here is a problem, assuming a 1 to 1 sex ratio, what is the probability that a family of 5 children will consist of 3 daughters and 2 sons? And uh, if you know how to use a factorial method, I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And uh, here is a formula that we are going to use today. So uh, N stands for the uh, total number and today we have 5 children divided by... Uh, S and T and S stands for the number of uh, girls for example and T for the number of boys and uh, multiply it by um, probability of girls so for example this can be P raised uh, the same number as um, number of girls so raised s and multiplied by probability of um, boys that is q raised t number of boys so this is formula that we are going to use today and here let's uh, use numbers for this formula so total number of uh, people in this family or children we have 5 divided by um, 3 daughters so 3 factorial and 2 sons 2 factorial and multiplied by probability of uh, daughters and what is the probability of daughters in this family it is 1 half whenever each new child is born, there is one half chances that this is going to be a girl. So we have to multiply one half, we have to raise it uh, three, so this number goes from here. And uh, we also have to multiply uh, this number by uh, probability uh, of boys in this family and probability of boys also would be one half raised by the uh, number that we are looking for we are looking for two boys so we have to multiply or raised by two and uh, if you don't know how to expand uh, factorials here this is uh, explanation so 5 factorial equal to 5 multiplied by 4 by 3 by 2 and by 1 and factorial for example 3 would equal to 3 multiplied by 2 and by 1 and factorial 2 would equal to 2 multiplied by 1 so as you see this is just a simple regression of numbers and uh, let's now um, solve this problem so factorial 5 we can write as 5 multiplied by 4 by 3 by 2 and by 1 divided by factorial 3 we can write as 3 multiplied by 2 and by 1 and uh, factorial 2 would be 2 multiplied by 1. So as you see we have common numbers here so we just can cross out these numbers and we also can reduce this 4 and this 2 so on top we would have uh, 10 and 10 uh, divided by 1 so this is would be 1 or uh, sorry 10 
and we have to multiply 10 by this uh, number or we can uh, also say that we have to multiply uh, 10 by uh, 1 half raised 3 would be 1 half uh, multiplied by itself 3 times so this is going to be 1 eighth so multiplied by 1 eighth and multiplied by uh, 1 fourth so this is going to be 10 divided by 32 and this is going to be our answer so this is going to be our probability and of course you can uh, divide uh, further 10 by 32 and get even more simplified answer and I also want to tell you the difference uh, when for example as you see in our example order is not given so we have to use factorial method and uh, for example what would be if uh, we would have an order for example if the question would be what is the probability for the family of five children to have first three daughters and then two sons and this would be very easy so I would use different color so you would see uh, solution of this problem so we would have girl 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 and boy boy in this order so what is the probability for the first child to be a girl and this is one half chances what is the probability for the second child to be a girl once again one half chances and uh, the same one half chances would be for each child for example for the fourth child to be a boy this would be one half chances and one half chances for the uh, last child to be a boy once again so we just have to multiply all these independent events because this is independent events uh, as long as uh, one child uh, doesn't affect the gender of the following child and this is true this is completely independent events so in this case uh, in this uh, if the question would be uh, um, what the probability to have three girls in a row and then two boys in a row uh, as you see the answer here would be 1 over 32 as you see this is um, very different answers and uh, this is how we are solving problems when order is given and when order is not given uh, thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Goodbye.